Where are we today, Phil? Lamb Bay Hill. Plymouth Castle stood here. This is probably all that's left of Plymouth's original castle, built in the Norman times, medieval. Um, nothing left of it now. It was a four-towered four wall fortification uh, that led down to the sea, to the, what's what's called the Barbican today. Um, it, by the time of the Civil War, it was out of date. It was in disuse. In fact, just before, not long before the Civil War, there was uh, somebody reported that um, the sand, so much sand had built up along the ramparts that cows were seen walking along the ramparts of Plymouth Castle. It was just abandoned. Um, during the Civil War, it was used to store ammunition and as a prison. Uh, a lot of prisoners were held here during the Civil War. Not military prisoners, more political. There was a lady called Mrs. Springwell who invited the Royalists to attack Plymouth and when they were closely besieged to come in and she would let them use their house. When this was found out, she was arrested and placed as a prisoner in the old castle. You can see why it's gone out of use in the time of the Civil War, because they needed a stronger fortification on the foreshore. That's why they built the uh, Plymouth Fort in the 1590s. So, like I said, it was already in decay by the time of the Civil War. They did spend money on the castle, still doing it up, repairing it. Um, but its use was finished after the Civil War. It just was neglected until there's nothing left of it now. People actually lived in these houses, lived in these places, it seems lived to in the built turret. On solid rock. Yeah, when it's uh, like I said, Plymouth is all limestone up this area, so it's a good solid base. So it was built right onto limestone. limestone. They used the limestone to build, and they based it, they based it on the limestone, and they used the limestone around them to build. So back in the day. This was sort of a headland here? Uh, no, it was just part of this still. Right. It was high ground. They didn't consider building it further out right, for some I reason. See, they yes, built it yeah. here above the town. But here's a good idea what it might have looked like. No, it's got four castles. Four turrets, yeah. Four, and I believe that is um, the reflected four wards. today in the coat of arms Yeah, of the Plymouth. four wards of Plymouth. Each councillor would have his um, assigned place in the castle if there was a, a threat of attack. Each councillor would have his number of troops or militia with him uh, assigned to each separate tower. So yeah. back in the day, it would overlook Sutton Harbour. That's right. Just like it does today. Yes. Yes. And the piers would have been connected by a chain uh, at what, night, like I said. Where would that be, Phil? So it's where, similar to where it is now. It by hasn't the changed. Prawn, isn't it? Yeah. Down there. Yeah, it wasn't so. It wasn't so far out, it was only a shorter, yes. so ships could get in and out, big ships. Because you had a lot of sails, sailing ships in here. This was a hectic place. It was, it? especially in Elizabethan times, more so. Sometimes you had, in, in the 1620s, you had an expedition that went to France and Spain. There was 80 ships, they said, in this area. Yeah, supply ships and ships to bring soldiers in. And if you bring a 10,000 man army into Plymouth, as the size of the army was supposed to be that went across to France, uh, La Rochelle and Spain, um, you're going to need a lot of ships. And in relation to the population of Plymouth, that is colossal. It is, because it outnumbered the population yes, of Plymouth. Because there was only six to 7,000 people here. And uh, you, can, you can almost sense the resentment they have of all these strangers coming in, bringing in their diseases and their dirt. Because a lot of these sailors, when they came back from these expeditions, had disease because of the lack of uh, fresh food. And we had the same thing recently last year with people who lived in the west of England resenting people coming down from other parts of <laughs> Britain <laughs> yeah. who could be bringing down the coronavirus. Could, yeah. It's the same <laughs> thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's out. We don't <laughs> want you here. Yeah. Well, the Black, yeah. it's amazing history, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, just imagine <laughs> yeah. what it would have looked like if it had all been there. I, I like to think of the cows walking Looking along the ramparts. Off, yes. <laughs> it would be in front of us, wouldn't it? Be yeah, there, it was like. quite big. Quite big, quite we'd substantial. See it here. Yeah, we'd see it here like that. Yeah. What a yeah. sight it would have been! My golly! But like all Plymouth history, there's very little you can no. see. No, consigned to the grave. Thank you very much, Phil. You're welcome, Thank Steve. You.